shots with Michael. Yeah. Working on the truck and everything, and then I'll get some other men. The desert is only one of Tom Roslin's studios when he's on assignment for Off-Road America. Mm, fantastic. Time is a hard taskmaster, both for the drivers who race this desert and the photographers who cover them. The action is fast, the pace is frantic, and in the time it takes to change a lens, an important moment could be lost. Let's do a 35 to get a uh, wider angle of Michael Nesmith working on his truck. Gotta work fast. Drivers do not wait, and they're in pits. They constantly move. Everybody works fast, just like the pit crew. The film crew, everybody works fast. Getting close to the action provides dramatic photographs. But here, Tom's camera was just a little too close. As the car swings too wide around a curve, disaster strikes. And this particular camera has taken its last picture ever. The reason it isn't the last picture ever taken by Tom Roslin is that the camera was being operated by remote control, with Roslin covering things from a safe distance. Now this ought to, ought to be a good spot for you. It looks like it. Nice and deep, hole, good jump. Yeah, we'll get a lot of air off this. This, this is just why I go pre-running, boy. You gotta know these things are here. Yeah. We'll, uh, we'll end up 30 feet down here before we see the ground again. All right. Yeah, it looks like this will be the jump, Randy. I think Good I got deal. it. I'll put my remote right here. I'll be down there with a 300, and I'll shoot the remote. I'll be able to get two good shots of you coming off. Good. It looks good. Good. All right. Alrighty. Excellent. Good deal. We'll find some more, I'm sure. There's a lot of it out here. All right. You got to keep these things in mind, boy. You, you come race day flying down this thing, you don't know that's there. All right. It'll put you on your lid. You hit it too fast. I bet. After Tom and Randy Salmont, who will be driving Time Rider, have picked a portion of the course for an Off-Road America magazine cover shot, Tom works to set up multiple camera positions to freeze Time Rider at the dramatic moment when it flies over some rough terrain. Uh, Wiring. Okay, when you get the... Uh Button out, uh, trigger it. Give it, it. Yeah, give it a test shot. Excellent. All righty. Sounds good. Okay. I'm going to go down about 300 yards with the telephoto. You go on 30 yards, put on your walkie talkie. Tell me when they're coming. Okay. And we'll get it from three different angles. All right. All right. See you later. See you later. For many assignments, Tom likes to work with a monopod, which gives him extra stability for those situations where a tripod might just get in the way. that close or was that close? That was unbelievable. My assistants and I uh, constantly are aware of the dangers of this type of racing photography. Uh, the drivers have a legal 30-foot clearance to pass other vehicles on each side of the track. So this way that if a vehicle is too slow, a vi uh, another vehicle will be able to pass them. That is a very dangerous portion of this photography field. And so we're always constantly listening and watching and always keeping our face to the course. You never, ever turn your back to a racing course if it's a short track or a desert race. It's a very dangerous area. You don't want to be like a, uh, a bull in a bull ring. You wouldn't turn your back on him. And it's the same thing. These are 1,800-pound-plus vehicles going at anywhere from 60 to 100 miles an hour in the desert. And if your back is turned to the desert course, uh, changing film or cleaning your lens, and this vehicle tries to pass another vehicle, and you're in the, behind a mesquite bush or something, he'll kill you or injure you very badly. For all his precautions, there have been times when Tom has had to abandon photography for personal safety. That's Tom in midair, leaving the track in deference to an out-of-control vehicle, which missed a turn during a race at Pikes Peak. <laughs> Tom also covers singer-songwriter Michael Nesmith, who owns Time Rider. Nesmith's surprise appearance becomes part of the story. I really don't want to hit. No, that's I've done that. Uh, but does it make sense to go over here out of the traffic? I have no idea what's up there. I really don't. I've never been up there. 
A slow shutter speed is used to create the blurred background in this shot, giving a sense of speed and urgency to the image. With this technique, the photographer pans his camera with the fast-moving object, keeping it in the same spot of his camera's viewfinder in order to keep it sharp while the background blurs into streaks. Not always easy to do with a subject as quick and unpredictable as Time Rider. Tom's experience in finding the shots, keeping up with the action, and photographing the off-road scene ensures that great pictures will be on his film once the dust has cleared.